Hi guys, JB from ASG here. I'm down with Pete and Sam from Patrol Base. They've invited me down to take a look around the new showroom, which, by the way, guys, looks absolutely amazing. Thank you. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, kicking myself a little bit for not being able to come down and actually attend the opening in day, but unfortunately, conflicts in the schedule. I, I'm just too, I'm just too into band, I'm afraid. Yeah, <laughs> that's all it is. I get that. But. Yeah. You know, seeing as you guys have, uh, I've got some couple of questions I want to ask you. Um, thank God you have agreed, and thank God I've locked the door so you can't get out. Of there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it um, locks. <laughs> um, you know what? For the store, what prompted the the idea for what it's now become? Um, I think when we were still opening the old shop, uh, COVID hit, which forced us to close mm. the shop, obviously. Um, and at that time, we were really making great strides with the website and how polished that was and sort of how quick and efficient and easy to use mm -hmm. that was. And it didn't necessarily reflect in our own store, if you know what I mean. So it was kind of a good opportunity for us to uh, take a fresh look at, at what a shop experience can be uh, and, and kind of make it much more up to date, much more interesting, more of an experience, basically. Hmm. Uh, so that's kind of where the, the drive for it came from, I think. Yeah, I don't think we'd have been 100% happy just reopening it as it was. No. Especially because it, it was closed for a long time, two years. It was, yeah. So even a lot of airsoft had changed yeah. in that time. So I mean, not everyone yeah. got the memo. We still got people turning up and knocking on the door saying, you're not open. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's the way it is. Yeah. No, it's 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 absolutely spectacular you know it's, it's my first time here um, and walking up those stairs and just seeing it um, the, the pictures really don't do it justice mm. you guys have absolutely knocked it out of the park uh, and the test range as well at the back um, is not just to come and test the products but to actually have the ability to uh, as you introduced it Sam was yes. a selection of different platforms so your AGs your GBBRs your Springers etc uh, and actually saying well which which platform's right for you. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what yeah. it's all about. Really. Again, so it's, yeah, it's, it's more about that experience of it rather than coming in and, and sort of saying, oh, I like that gun, can I test it on the range? Oh, I like that gun, can I test it on the range? We'd rather people come in and get an idea of what a type of gun can do. So we've got a, a basic AG, a MOSFET AG, a spring sniper, um, spring shotgun and a gas pistol because those are the kind of the main staples of airsoft if you like yeah and on and on that range it's not i mean it's what like seven eight meters if that think, maybe maybe 10 i'm not sure i think it's like 10, Something like 10. Not, not enough. it's not a huge range you know uh, so over that kind of distance um you're not really going to see much of a difference in the sort of performance uh Shot per shot, so to speak, but you just get an idea of how gun each gun type of gun feels, and how it functions, yeah, how as it well. functions, and how, how you have feels. to load it, and yeah, exactly, yeah, the it's... difficulties involved in each because they're not all perfect, are they? I, don't know, yeah, I mean, so. that's that's how a lot of um, I guess newer people into it, um, into airsoft in general, will look at it as, all oh, right, I want one that does the best of everything, and unfortunately, that's yeah. that's not quite how a lot of the platforms work. No, or, quite. I, I want it to be, I want it to be doing this, but it's the interactions with the the different platforms yeah. you know how it reloads every every gun every pistol uh, they all have their own little nuances yeah. and yeah. that's you know if if you're investing um in some cases quite a lot of money and time into these things you know having having a starting point that you guys have addressed you know I'm I'd, I have to give you credit for it I'm I'm really taken back by that when I came in mm. and just say great you're starting people off in the right place yeah, yeah. it can be an overwhelming hobby to get into can, especially if yeah. you walk in and it's floor to ceiling riffs everywhere you're just like well where do I start well <laughs> here you go yeah then I'm, you're making some your decisions are a little we, bit more informed. we've all been there I've yeah. I've uh, I remember when I I came back into it um you know wow so much has changed where do I start yeah you yeah. know it's overwhelming so you know kudos to you guys for that Thank um you. I know we hinted that it's kind of been two years in the making um but you know, has it actually been two years in the making, or has it kind of been a, a little fleeting, burning idea at the back of your minds for longer than that? And COVID I, I, was just that great excuse to. I think we've always wanted to. Yeah. But the idea of shutting the shop, just closing the doors and saying no, you can't come in, is isn't either fun for us or maybe financially is fun for. Yeah, uh, is a decision. <laughs> no, so when I. when our hand was forced, it was like right, well now's the opportunity. Now, 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 now we've yeah. actually got the time to invest in it because it we were working on it right up until 
opening really yeah, with di- different issues yeah. and stuff so it did take two years really which, which sort of approach did you take uh, with it in the was it a case of right we want to sing from the rooftops that we're doing this or keep it under wraps and as you get closer it, it, you know? it were very um, under wraps it was the line was it, it's closed because of safety reasons I mean it was at first yeah, but yeah. even when we knew we're actually we were in the process of building and we'd secured a new site and everything we were still no it was still you know it was closed yeah. was, it, was it hard to keep that secret it was because we still got people coming to our old office going <laughs> yeah, can yeah. we can have a look around I was like, oh, it's empty you can if you want um, <laughs> there's a few empty boxes yeah, and no lights yeah <laughs> pull the typical no comment yeah, yeah. <laughs> we try to be nice about it it, yeah. it was hard because you do want to tell everyone what's coming but we didn't really have a an end date so we didn't want to start promising the world before we because we didn't even really know no, what was, shape uh, it'd actually take we started really from the ground up again yeah I know uh, another difficult thing and, and, and again um, I'll hopefully have some b-roll over the top of this to kind of just give a, a sense of how much you guys have in the store but I know from working with you guys that that's not all your inventory no. oh no um, so, so a fraction of <laughs> how how on earth did you come to the conclusion beyond best sellers obviously uh, but the conclusion of what do we put on these walls how and you know what what justifies it to be good enough to go front of house yeah we were very conscious about it not being another cram everything in the shop experience uh, you know like the old place you know great it was a, it was a good shop and people like coming there but it very much was you know we've got to get as much of everything in as we can it was very surplus it was yeah it, it was still, still had very that, surplus, it still had that surplus vibe um, and when we when we designed this place we it was definitely a, a not you know a, a move towards we want to give you a taste of what's there in a more polished uh, environment if you like so we're just going to pull out a few key items uh, that show a good variation yeah. but you know you're not going to find racks of batteries and hop up units and bolts and you know mm-hmm. uh, things like that hanging all over the walls because that stuff is available you can get it from us and you can you can walk into the showroom and get it from us and we'll, br- we'll bring it over we'll bring it over from the warehouse because yeah. it's only 50 metres that way yeah. <laughs> you know so uh, we've still got the stuff available we just didn't want to mess make a mess of the place by by cramming loads of stuff in basically so yeah a logical choice like mm. you say your best sellers your um, it's, yeah it's things that are good for item. different uh, levels of player as well yeah there's and that new, new and like staple brands as well as new brands just giving yeah. people it's like the tasting menu really yeah. of airsoft but, then, <laughs> but the kitchen at the back will do anything for you really if you order off menu yeah. it's fine it's, it's, yeah. the sign that, it's the signs of a good restaurant when you ask yeah. for changes and they're, they're happy to accommodate no, we'll do you it. know it's yeah. not microwaved yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you find any sort of uh, unexpected challenges that you're able to share with us uh, when you um, were going through the process of getting the new store to actually opening it just, just before the official launch Technology, I think, was uh, yeah. was a big one. I mean, it was stressful throughout, really. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just in, just I mean, yeah. In, I know you spent a lot of hours on the design. Of, yeah. Of everything. It's a lot of back and forth and stuff. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was technology really at the end. Yeah. We probably we were hoping to open for Christmas, but uh, I'm sure everyone in the world is aware of the microchip shortage and stuff at the minute. Yeah. Trying um, to get hold of PDQ machines, get, card machines. Getting compatible card machines for our system it was, a nightmare. was honestly a nightmare. And it's weird because we were ready to like, you know, click ready post and say, come see us. And, and just help we were just like, we just got nowhere to make a sale. Yeah, so it'd can't... just be a museum at that point. Yeah, it was exactly. just a really expensive and fancy museum. <laughs> um, so that, that was something we couldn't possibly have foreseen and was surprisingly frustrating. It for, was very frustrating. For everyone. Yeah. yeah. It was, um, and again, from the invite you sent over to uh, us uh, to come down and join you. And again, apologies for not being able to come down. Um, you know, regret regret it. But unfortunately, I'm only one person and yep. it can only be in one place at one time. Yeah. I'm, I'm working on my cloning technology. It's uh, <laughs> a new ASG project. Yeah, saying. let us know when it's done. Yeah. I, I might need that as well. Um, Stay tuned in three th- different places. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But you you bravely opted for April first launch day. <laughs> now I'd, I'd I'd like to ask about that. Come on, I bet, I bet there's at least a few people that thought 
they're having a laugh. They're pulling their leg. They've been talking about it long enough. Yeah, we're yeah. not uh, we're not shy about you know just having fun with people, as it were. No. Um, with all the social comments that we had whilst we were closed of, of people saying, you know, why, I can't, why aren't they open yet? Are they not open yet? I don't know what's going on. Blah blah blah. We thought it would be a good kind of run on from that. To, to sort of really mess with people and say, oh, are we open on the first? Oh, you know. <laughs> um, thankfully, people did come down just in case. Um, people weren't believing it even when po- pictures were being posted. Yeah, so people we were, like, were actually posting you, on the day. Why have you thought yourself, yourself in front of like a shop background? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. Well, it's, it's their loss. I understood you had uh, quite a number of giveaways as well. Yeah, well, that was true award. The, um, the first person the, who turned the, up. The first few yeah, people who came the in. The first few people. I mean, in, the, yeah. the first person got um, one of the new... It was G-A-G, the a- yeah, ARP nine three wasn't it? Yeah, the new we'll that out. The new <laughs> the ASG uh, yeah. <laughs> No, but it's um you know, in, in relation to the opening day then, what what's a highlight for you both? So question to you individually because I'm sure you'll have different highlights for it um, I, well for me I think it was just seeing the reaction of people on social media um, you know saying oh yeah nice one first of April <laughs> and then you know other people posting pictures of themselves in the store and it kind of finally twigging with people and then them fr- oh. frantically going for their keys going <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm missing it yeah. um, uh, I mean my involvement on the day was mainly sort of capturing media photos a bit of video and stuff like that of, of what was going on so I didn't get a lot of chance to speak to many people fly on the wall so, so to speak yeah yeah, yeah exactly um, but yeah no, just sort of seeing, seeing the reactions of people was, was nice and also um, people's first reactions to the tags that we have on the guns it's a little thing, but it's uh, I don't I've never seen anybody else doing it. So you've got the uh, the near field, you know, NFC, yeah, the NFC text, text, and you scan it with your phone, and it brings up the web page of that product, so you can read about all the details. Uh, I mean, it's not on camera, unfortunately, but uh, no, my, right, my first reaction of that exact same thing, uh, yeah. seeing some nice products up there, um, obviously ASG products, um, <laughs> just looking at the prices and going, oh, that's interesting. Mm. And immediately phone out, and then that's it. Yeah, but then you've got your battery compatibility, the specification. You've got your RFPS testing results. Yeah, so yeah. instead of having to go, you know, oh well, what's that shoot at? What's that shoot at? You kind of you're more informed, and then you come to us, and then we give our advice as opposed to read you out a technical yeah. sheet. Because, I mean, as, yeah. as good as our shop staff are, they might not know every single minute detail of every yeah. single oh, riff that we sell. So many. Yeah, exactly. So having that information there for you on your phone when you yeah. need it is just just really nice boom yeah uh, and then you can rely yeah. on our staff's experience and stuff to yeah. help guide your decision making yeah, process stats, which is stats are one thing yeah exactly it's, um, it's and again having it actually physically in the store handling and like yeah. we were hinting back with the little range that you've got it's, yeah. it's mm. the manipulation of the gun how it feels in your hand because pictures are like oh it looks cool I bet that'll be great and then you know sometimes maybe it's not maybe it's not what you thought yeah but you know Quite. that's where you have to hark on experience for people that been in the hobby or the industry long enough to kind of give you a an honest opinion yeah um, or at least a, a helpful one yeah <laughs> how about for you uh, what was the, uh, similar kinds of stuff um i guess i really like just like seeing the um the families that turned up i'd missed talking to us after surprisingly mm. i thought i was quite glad to get back to my work when the shop closed and you know i could we could kind of re allocate resources but I actually really enjoyed talking to everyone and seeing there was lots of like fathers and sons, mothers and sons and, and whole families that come in going, we all do it together. And it was just really nice talking to everyone, finding out what they've been doing in the two years and just kind of reconnecting with a community, which it, we were doing it online, but it, 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 it wasn't the same. It, likes no. that it, it was touch. just really, it was just really nice. And everyone was really supportive of, of us and we're happy we were open and we were happy to speak to them so it was just a really nice day it makes you feel like you've made the right decisions and you've done the right yeah. things essentially yeah which is, which is always good feedback I mean we're the same you know uh, and but it's from you guys that you know we hear it um, not always the greatest of feedbacks <laughs> but, but, on, hey, but hey, honest hey, constructive criticism yeah. is always welcome that's just the one thing I will uh, I, I will say um, you know with hindsight now so the open day has been and gone. Mm. Looking back on it, uh, the great power of hindsight, is there anything you wish you could have done differently? I can't think of anything off the top of my head, to be fair. It all went pretty well. I yeah. think, for me, the only thing I would have maybe changed is 
I don't think the second till was up and running. It wasn't, no, it wasn't at the time. That was something that got sorted out. Yeah, so that created a bit of a bottleneck, but obviously it was something we were very keen on doing because the old shop had the same problem, which is why we've got that massive counter so we can have as many tills as we need, basically. So I would have liked that on launch day, but again, microchips and stuff was an issue, so... You can only do what you can do. Yeah. No, exactly. Uh, And, yeah, I guess we've got all these grand ideas about what we can do with it and and sort of where we can go with it but at some point you just have to say right no we just need to open Open. (laughs) and then then those things can come later like Chris says it is it's it's always evolving and we're not done uh, by any means and there are some ideas that will be happening very soon and there'll be some that happen later on whether it's like event stuff or actual shop changes in in displays and stuff so Anything, um, anything you can reveal I'm not sure. <laughs> no, I don't think I don't think so as yet. I'm not sure, not just yet. That's a perfect plug for you to say, coming soon to uh, Patrol Base Socials. Keep an eye out. Keep an eye on PBTV. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But we'll, we'll we'll share as soon as as soon as we can. Yeah. But lots 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 are going on. Uh, don't worry, I get asked the same question all the time. Usually <laughs> at the minute, it's when's the P10C coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ask me that question. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But um, with with socials and media in mind, I mean, uh, cut to the the wide shot here. This is just an amazing studio. You know, I've I've seen uh, numerous episodes of PBTV, and again, it's it's that age old thing. It doesn't do it justice. Like, uh, there's many things behind the scenes. I'm hoping I can steal some footage and overlay yeah, yeah. at this point. Yeah. Uh, and just the amount of effort, and I cannot stress this enough for people watching this, I cannot stress the amount of effort uh, and investment these guys have gone into to bring this in this format and this level of quality. Mm. Seeing it is believing it now. It's just, you know, what what kind of prompted that for you guys to, to make so much effort? Um. I think the aim, well, the aim is to try and make ourselves as involved in the community as we can be and bring as much knowledge and information to the community as we can. And doing that from, you know, some random storeroom with, uh, you know, plywood background or whatever just didn't seem to fit the, the vibe that we were going for. We wanted it to be a proper professional kind of presentation of, you know, this is what we know, this is what we can bring to you. Um, it certainly comes across, and now. we want it. To, we want it to, yeah. We want the the presentation of it to be as good as the content of it. Yeah, I, mean. I think I think it all kind of comes down to us losing the shop, um, which is how it all kind of started, really. Yeah, because we we, yeah. we used to make videos and stuff, and every now and again, but it really started that we lost that kind of interaction. Uh, so Stu really went, "I'm going to go get a gun off the wall. I'm going to go into that room." I'm going to live stream about it. Yeah, I'm on Instagram. Gonna, I'm going to answer people's questions. I'm going to tell them about it. I'm going to take them through it because he's he's a gun nut and he just yeah. loves it. He's been in it a long time. And he just did it and he was doing one a day and people loved it mm. and it slowly evolved and now we stream to multiple platforms. It's now not phone resolution. It's now 4K and all shiny and we've got different series and yeah. it's all it's all one big thing now so from from that decision to I want to talk to people again I want to talk to airsofters to now we have a, a big community that yeah, we engage got, with we've got this whole professional yeah. media studio well yeah. and it gives us the scope to do other more interesting things as well so yeah. we've got some perhaps some more fun things lined up stay tuned hopefully <laughs> um, that we're, we're going to bring out which you know I think will engage with people without ramming PB as a brand down the throat, if you know what or I mean. Just, or just yeah. ramming products down the or throat. Or ramming either. products down the yeah. throat, yeah. Just, it's just come and have fun with us. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, yeah. light-hearted, let people make an informed choice. Yeah. And it's it's yeah. the whole stance that, uh, again, we're uh, without forcing ASG down your throat. Um, yeah. it's, it's the stance we're trying to take uh, as well, is kind of let the products speak for themselves yeah. and do their own thing and be informative and help people. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, you, your guys' execution, slightly different from ours, but the journey and the, the, the outcome that we're looking for is pretty much the same, yeah. which is, is always a reassurance that we're on the right track if <laughs> other people seem to feel that that's the right approach. Oh, we so, might be okay. doing it horribly we, wrong. We might you both be know. wrong, you don't know. Yeah, well, <laughs> hey, at least we'll, we're see. Gonna, we'll have a good journey together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll go down together. <laughs> So, like, I mean, I'm, I'm impressed by this studio. I, I, I'm going to see how much of it I can fit in my bag and take back with me, to be honest with you. <laughs> but just with the, was it a tough sell 
to because because this we let's, let's be let's be blunt and honest like studio setups on on cheap and i yeah. know it's it's a business at the end of the day let's let's be honest it's a business yeah. was it a tough sell to get the everybody on board with the idea i think because again because of covid and because we'd had so long to uh, produce video content and, and other things in that old space that we were in. Yeah, it helped us kind of ramp up to this a lot, a lot more steadily and slowly, if you like. So yeah. the the people holding the purse strings were able to see actually, yes, there is a benefit to all of this. Um, you know, it helps bring people to us. Yeah, we're actually really well supported by the directors and stuff yeah. here, and obviously we were doing it at, the, at our old studio, which we we try to make as nice as possible. And I think they saw the benefit. So when we came here, we knew we wanted to continue it and they were mm. happy for us to continue. So they really let us design it however we wanted. So we got brought into this big empty room and we decided to split it. And like our office is through there. Mm. And you know, we've made a soundproof room. Yeah. We decided how it was gonna work, what was gonna be the most modular for not only like interviews, but single person kind of streams yeah. to, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like a uh, yeah, sort of over table, top down stuff. Cause we can move yeah, these cameras nice and yeah, easily. Yeah, so and yeah. we can take a, we yeah. can take a gun apart, and you can actually look inside a gearbox with us. It just gives us scope to really do whatever we want all within these four walls. Oh, here's the media so. nerd for me called a flat lay. No, oh, there we go. There Thank you. Go. you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so. Production wise, I mean, it already sounds like you've you've gone through a lot to get it to this point, mm. but mm. kind of keeping on that theme of get what you're going through. It, can you share with us sort of? And I know we've gone through a lot to get to this point. Yeah. Um, mm. But in your guys' words, and for your normal media productions, um, what's what's sort of a day to day? How would you go about it? What's what's in it to make this end video that people will see? I already know the answer to this because yeah. you're seeing it after we've done all of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we'll do a product showcase, I guess, because that's yeah. probably the simplest. Yeah, yeah. Um, we decide what product we want to talk about, whether it's a new release, we've got something on pre-release from a, from a supplier like yourselves, or it's just something that maybe has come back in after a while of being on a boat somewhere and everyone's wanting it. So we get it in, Stu gets hold of it, he makes some notes. We pop someone in it, or, or Pete, if, mm -hmm. if Stu is disposed. And we get in here, um, set up, we have the control room through there with all the multi-angles and cameras. We can display product videos and stuff on here, which he can refer to. Um, and then that is live streamed to YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, It can go other places if we want and is automatically edited. And on the internet for everyone to see. Yeah. And I mean, we're also throwing up comments, live yeah. comments as well. So he's actually engaging with people. People are asking actually, well, what kind of suppressor can I put on that? And him being a boffin, he knows. So yeah, he's you, trying you, to throw uh, a few curveballs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you, we don't want him to be too comfortable. You do make it sound <laughs> perhaps more simple than it is because what happens in the control. Oh yeah, it's very there, I won't bother you with that. It's very yeah. technical and very um, uh, involved uh, as a sort of a, a, a Big bit of software on the PC through there that's taking all the feeds from the cameras and mics uh, and TV and mics and TV output and, and um, overlays and videos. Yeah, exactly. It's and there's someone sat through there, sort of mixing it all together live. Cut, cut to them waving at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's a big custom piece of software, really, and a, cu a custom project, really, that that ties it all together, yeah. and obviously can be used for interviews and, and again all those other things I mentioned. So there's there's a lot more going into it than people perhaps realise, but this is, uh, I guess, a trial, trial and error, is that the right word, that it, you've, it, over it, the it, years? It, yeah. it was, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then we've got to this kind of stage. A lot of work goes in behind the screen, so it looks so yeah. clean and tidy in the final video, basically. But you've, you've got it to the point, uh, and uh, as I've been finding out personally today, that you know once, once it's happening, it's very streamlined, very straightforward. Yeah. Mm. But it's it's all that preparation work mm -hmm. uh, that underpins it all, you know. And I, I kind of just wanted to spotlight that to give you guys a yeah. bit of a credit for <laughs> just go. Oh, it's just this video and like that people <laughs> see. It's like the the infamous thing with the internet is you only see what we want you to see. Yeah. Um, and it's like the numerous takes, the edits, mm. and and the back and forth, uh, and in this instance, a level of script. Um, my cheat sheets right here. Um, 
so you know I, I just you guys need some level of credit for that um, I mean the the end stuff very polished very good mm -hmm. uh, certainly on the website as well I know um, Stu's uh, guilty for a lot of the videos with the product descriptions which is it's, it's great to see that you guys produce that sort of stuff because mm -hmm. it's, it's few and far between um, oh, the, yeah the guy who writes our descriptions his, his level of gun knowledge is ridiculous bordering on scary sometimes he knows like this <laughs> between like A1 and A2 variants of yeah. long forgotten platforms that don't even exist in Airsoft uh, it's, it's, it's just it's, it's the whole package so yeah. it's, it's, it's the product description the product information but then like the, the media reel uh, we're still presenting it uh, and going through it and actually walking through the product Yeah. Uh, and like we, we hinted that earlier with the flat lays etc going through it talking about it uh, and it might just be a, another live stream video that you've done that is essentially going through it uh, because it's suitable enough but that you guys in the nice I mean this in the nicest of ways go very OTT oh, that's the, the, the yeah. BB wear yeah, it is, <laughs> it is yeah. very OTT but it's it's great um, I'd, I'd, I'd be lying if I said it I, I've not gone to your guys website to get some info about stuff before yeah, not about um, your own products I hope no certainly not about <laughs> ASG products we, we have a process for that but just uh, yeah seeing seeing uh, how it compares you just just because I work for ASG doesn't mean that I don't appreciate other brands yeah, takes on stuff because we can only have so many licenses if ASG could have all the licenses and make all the guns we would uh, but there's there's complications and legalities to all of that so mm. you know we, we have to accept that somebody might own a different license and we've got to if us, us as airsofters if we want to have that particular gun yeah, we've just got to suck it up mm. um, just etch so, ASG into that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get the Dremel out yeah. take some stuff off is there anything media wise uh, and again kind of re similar question we asked earlier but I'm rephrasing it in the hopes of tripping you up and getting something out of you uh, is there anything media wise we can look forward to in the near future be that events or maybe a, a new little segment or or feature uh, I know we spoke about some loose ideas but I'll keep that off yeah t t it, touching yeah. on what you kind of said earlier there's, mm. there's potentially some more game kind of videos planned yeah. not gameplay videos but we're kind of trying to tie it more into the sort of video, video games game links meets airsoft yeah so, okay if that makes sense I will, um, that's as much as I'm we're that's as much as I'm going to say yeah 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 but I'm interested to see the yeah. execution of that now <laughs> yeah for sure um, you know is there anything I mean it's kind of a similar question but is there anything you don't currently do for your videos that you would like to possibly try uh, and I've made a note here for myself um, saying it would be awesome to see you guys um, and uh, this is this is testing people's knowledge here so uh, Dude Perfect on mm -hmm. YouTube those guys that just nail stuff they did a gun game airsoft battle I don't know if you caught that one yeah. right okay with it, basically Mario Kart with the balloons and every time they yeah, shot something yeah. they got a different gun yeah. um, you know th that kind of theme video I personally and especially after seeing the, the shop and the site and everything today I'd find it hilarious to watch you guys doing something like that. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, be, it would be good fun to do some things like that. I, I suppose the main struggle we have is tying that many people together uh, at the same time. That's what ropes for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it, they can be logistically yeah, it's, difficult. I'd say it's yeah. logistical stuff. Yeah, um, uh, but. Certainly, I think we'd like to. We have a big list of um, yeah ideas. Uh, let's let's, we'd let's certainly like to get out there and do more gameplay videos, for example. We're really liking the gameplay videos at the moment. I don't yeah. know if you've caught any of the recent ones. Um, and I really like doing um, like news coverage. Um, we did like a bit of coverage at IWA this year. Yeah. Hopefully, that becomes more of a, a bigger thing and a continuous thing. You've done some shows before in the past, but yes. Our kind of coverage is a bit intermittent, whereas well, I make I, sure you come over and see us always. Um, I, I'd always like to be kind of at the forefront of the news in in the scene and just making sure we're giving our takes to people, and making sure everyone is aware of what's happening. Yeah, not just when it arrives on the shelf in the shop, but actually when it's been announced by you guys or a prototype that's been unveiled or a new tech that's kind of starting to pass down into airsoft. So that's mm. what I would like to do personally. Yeah, it's it ties in with. Um, and again, I won't say too much on camera, but uh, it ties in with some uh, changes that ASG is making internally, which is quite nice. That helps address that in some ways. Yeah. Um, so we're we're trying to be more proactive on product launches to give you guys time. So again, um, yeah. 
get you under NDAs. So you guys have got everything you need ready uh, and then can present to you guys at home uh, for it all. So, you know, hopefully that helps underpin that and then yeah. shows again that we're on a similar path, yeah. which is always a reassurance that we're at least doing something <laughs> forward thinking. Yeah. And the final sort of serious question before we get onto the fun stuff. Um, <laughs> 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 is there anything about PBTV knowing what you know now that you would go back and change Oof. there's a thought provoker for you there is yeah I mean I may have seen too much of this wallpaper possibly <laughs> <laughs> but apart from that um, I'm not really that sure. No, I, it's, it's tough. I mean, potentially, maybe streaming to some more platforms is something I'd have liked to have done from the get go. Right. Do you, th and do even, you wish you'd done streaming sooner? I mean, potentially. Yeah. Potentially, yeah. I wish we we'd also we'd done video for a long time, but we were always not put off by it. Um, but I'm sure you're aware, being in the field you are, editing a video. It's recording a video, then there's edit in a video, and then you publish it. Yeah. So that was always a bit of a because you know we've got a lot to do. The, um, yeah. yeah we so need, like, we're not just doing yeah, video stuff. So I doing. kind of wish we just committed and yeah. then found live streaming a bit sooner, and then because obviously that's quick and fun. Um, so maybe that. I yeah. Say. yeah. But I, I'm fair. I'm very happy. And I'd say that's fair. Pete's always happy. <laughs> it's fair to be happy. Yes. Well. Thanks, guys, for having me down here today. It's been a pleasure. Um, the shop's been absolutely amazing. You've done an astounding job. Um, honestly, you need to come down and check it out. These these guys are next level in terms of their shop. Um, you know, I've learned a lot being here today. So, you know, thank you guys for having me in, taking Thanks me around. Thanks for coming down, yeah. Yeah, look forward to uh, seeing you again next time. Indeed, Indeed. for the next big news. Next big news. <laughs> I'll have a P10C at that point. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> TM. <Cool. laughs>